Hi, welcome to day 11 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the Amazon data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. So the question is identify returning customer based on their order history. Categorize customer as a returning if they have placed more than one return and as new other ways. Consider you have two table. Orders table has information about sales and returns table has information about the return. So let's see the table. So in the orders table, we have information like order ID, customer ID, order date, product ID, quantity. Okay, and let's see the return table. In the return table, we have a return ID and order ID. So let's understand the question. It says identify customer based on their order history, right? So if the customer has placed more than one return, then we want to call this, I mean, name this customer as a returning. Otherwise, we want to name this customer as new. So in the orders table, we have basically customer's ID. Based on the customer's ID, basically we can create a new column here. And based on the return, if they have placed any return, then we can basically call this customer as returning. Otherwise, we can call this customer as a new. So let's see the things that we need to solve these questions. Okay. So to solve these questions, we need to find out for each customer what is their basically number of return they have basically done so far. So we basically need to find out number of return for each customer, right? So basically to get this, we need to basically make a join between the sale, I mean between the orders and return table because they have a common column which is basically order ID in the order table and also in the return table we have the same column ID which is uh, you know order ID. So because if the order is returned, that means we can find the order ID from the return table, right? So this is fine. Then once we find this information, then basically we can simply use a case statement to kind of make a condition says that if the count of return, if the count of return is greater than one, then we can want to call it as like returning. Okay. Else we want to call it basically new. Correct. This is what we can do. So let's see step by step how we can solve these questions. Okay. So let's just go ahead and see first I'm selecting customer's ID. So in the orders table, if I just run it again, in the orders table, you will see I have something called customer's ID. So I can group the data for the customer's ID by the customer's ID so that I can have a count for total numbers of order they have done so far. Okay, so let's just say I'm saying customer ID. Okay, and I'm saying count, count of customer's ID. So count of maybe order ID. Okay, If I say count of order ID as total orders from from orders table and I can just need to do a group by because if I want to see each customers and their total number of orders they have done that means I need to basically group the data by the customers right so that I can have each customers and their total number of orders or maybe number of purchase you know so I can say group by group by what group by this column which is customers ID correct I can say group by customers ID now if I run this query, okay, it's going to basically give me each customers and total number of orders they have placed so far. So this is fine. Okay. Now what we need is basically we need to find out what is the number of return they have done, right? So that is what we can only find out when we will kind of make a join between orders and the returns table. So now let's say I, I need here something called count of return, count of return ID as total return. Okay something total returns I mean this count of return ID I need right so I can see this order ID as O giving it alias and I can just make a join okay now I'll tell you which join I need to use I need to use a left join why I'll tell you that so because I need everything I need every orders okay I need every orders from the orders table so I mean that means every customer that exists in the order table I need that and then I need basically what is the total number of orders they have done and what is the total number of return they have done now I see I do left join here with what with the returns table SR okay now on what conditions I'm joining the both the table has the same column which is called order ID right so I would say O dot O dot order ID equals R dot order ID because see both the table has the same column which is order ID and order ID so basically we can make a join like this way okay now after the join we can do a group by by the customers ID now if I run this query, I will have the customer's ID and their total number of orders and total number of returns. So now how this is working, you can see this return ID I'm getting from the return table and this is I have already checked earlier, right? It was working fine. 
now i can just give some alias because now i have made it uh, you know join so i need to tell like sql where i'm getting this column where i'm getting this column and this column so i'm saying this customer id i'm getting from which table which is order table and i'm saying this order id i'm getting from order table now i'm saying this uh, return id i'm getting from what return table okay so i would say r dot return table now let's just go ahead and run this query now you can see that i have basically all the customers id and their total number of orders they have placed and their total number of return they have placed now the reason i have done left join here because see not all the customer has returned the product now you can see this customer which is customer 5 and customer 2 they have placed one and two orders but they they never have returned anything that's the reason they are get, it is getting zero here now what i want to basically call is basically i can go ahead and add a case statement here saying that if this return id is greater than one then i want to create a new column here and categorize the customer based on basically uh, returning or new okay if the customer has returned more than one i want to call this as a returning or if the customer has returned less than one i would uh, i want to call that as a new so let's see how we can do it so i can say case if you do not know about case statement leave a comment i'll make a video very soon so i'm saying case so the syntax is very simple you say case and you say when in the next line and here i basically define my conditions what is the conditions i want to check now i want to check this column which is this column so this column is basically which one this one right so i want to check this column now this is not a physical column of our main table that's the reason i need to basically copy this query which is count return id then i can see greater than one now if it is greater than one that means the return is basically more than one then i want to say what then i want to say basically returning okay now this was the questions right so basically i'm saying so this is very simple i say case so that means case and i'm saying when the count of return id is greater than one then call this customer as a returning okay and it will be creating here now i need to add one more conditions which is saying like if it's less than one if it is not greater than one if it is one or less than one then i want to call that customer as new okay now i can add one more condition but i can even use else as well because if this no condition is not true so whatever the data we have this will fall automatically under this else conditions now i can just simply say here new that's it now i need to close this case okay whatever the case i have started i can close this case simply by saying end and now here i can say basically end and i can basically give it as an alias and i can give a column name by what column name i want basically the column name is basically customers category okay so this is the column name i want to give now this is the simple way to write case neat and clean now by mistakenly if you forget this else it's going to basically check the condition if the customer has more than one return it is going to tell the customer that it's a returning customers in a new column and rest of the customer is going to call as a null so basically make sure that you are putting this last statement okay i mean alternate statement so this is fine i have basically called this customer as customer category now let's just go ahead and run this query okay now you can see that this customer this customer which is customer one return more than uh you know one uh, you know product which is this one like two product right so this is the reason the customer is calling as a returning customer now this customer you can see this customer has placed two orders but return only one that's the reason this customer is calling new okay so similarly this customer has not placed uh, return any any return this these two customers has not placed any return they are calling still new and this customer has placed two orders to return so we are calling it basically return that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end now i have a very small task for you let me just show you the task so the task is that categorize product based on their quantity sold into these categories low demand if the quantity sold is less than or equal to five medium demand if the quantity sold is between six and ten which is inclusive so if it is six quantity sold then i want to see this medium demand if it is ten i want to see this medium demand or if it is between if it is between six and ten i want to see medium demand now see high demand if the quantity sold greater than 10, 10 then basically i want to see this high demand okay now this is what you need to solve you can write down your query in the video descriptions and i will check them and let you know if you are correct so i'm going to add a link in the video description for this code so that you can go ahead download the same to practice the same questions thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you want to download the same code just check the video descriptions i'll see you tomorrow take care happy learning